Hey there, Windowers, and welcome to this week's, or this month's, should I say, Windows on Windows live stream. Thank you all so much for being here. How are we all doing? It's great to see so many people in the chat. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. How is everyone? Sorry about the wait, by the way. I know it was a little bit of a longer than usual wait. Sorry about that. But yeah, how is everyone? How are we all? Let's see who we have. So, hello to Johnny, a stream regular. Hello to Pancake. Thank you for joining. Another regular. Nice to see you. Hello to Orbitron. Hello to Solar Strike. Again, regulars. Guys, thank you so much for all the support. It means a lot to me. Thank you for joining. Hello to Smart Ninja. Phantom Ocean. Hello to Martin32. Nice to see you. Hello to Hibby. Good to see you. Again, another regular on the channel. Thank you for your support. Hello to Gareth. Another regular. Thanks, Gareth, for joining. Hello to Overgreen. Guys, I love it. Thank you so much. I recognize so many of these names. It means a lot to me to have your support. Okay, who else we got? Uh, so, hello to Crop. Hello to Thelma. Hello to Beta Master. So many people. So many. If I miss you, I do apologize. There's so many names. Okay. Uh, hello to Brian. Hello to Grass. I noticed a few people were complaining about buffering. Just let me know if it's a problem. If there's a lot of buffering, then I'll basically put the quality of the video down, which should help. But usually it's okay, but we'll see. Hello to True the Queen. Thanks for joining. So yeah, it's been a while. Um, yeah, so guys, I mean, a lot of you are stream regular, so you'll know this already, but it's going to be a bit of a relaxed stream, uh, basically. And if you're a regular here, you'll know that things usually go wrong. So please bear that in mind. Don't expect everything to go smoothly because it hardly ever does. In fact, it never does on a Windows or Windows live stream. So yeah, we're going to relax. It's going to be a bit chill. We're going to have a look at Longhorn 4074 briefly. I mean... It's kind of just a bit, it's a bit of a random build, right? It, there's no particular reason why it's 4074. It just happens to be quite a common development build of Windows. So yeah, we're going to use 4074, play some games. Hopefully if all goes well, fingers crossed. But I'd imagine I'm foreseeing some technical problems because, you know, like I said, it always happens. So especially given that we're going to be using a development build. I mean, we're asking for trouble, right? We are literally asking for trouble here, but we'll give it a go. It'll be fun anyway, whatever happens, right? right so yeah um okay right so buffering buffering everything windows thanks for joining by the way says buffering or camera quality is there an issue with camera quality there should not be yeah so basically guys what i'm going to do is uh we'll go into 4074 anyway just so we can uh, you know have a look at the build to start with so let's do this hopefully this will all work fine without any problems um so on oh i for actually forgot about this so on your screen now you should be able to see the stream chat however the text is tiny and really badly formatted i think i need to actually sort that don't i but i mean i guess it's better than nothing so yeah as you can see 407 to four, i can't even speak 4074 is already set up here i've saved us the time of going through the setup process uh, this is a virtual machine, so full disclosure. And I mean, guys, if you haven't tried to set up 4074 on a virtual machine, it's not fun. It's very temperamental. So it took me quite a few attempts here to get this running. But as you can hopefully see, it is actually, again, fingers crossed, it's actually running pretty much okay. So I've got the sound drivers installed. So I've got sound working, obviously important for games. I've got the video drivers installed. Um, I did think about activating Aero, but to be honest, I chose not to do that because I didn't want it. To, I didn't want like the Aero and the desktop composition engine to potentially mess with the actual, you know, gaming aspect that we're going to try and do. So, yeah, I thought like we could have done that, but I didn't think it was that important. I didn't want it to kind of like mess with the games. So I've just left Aero disabled. However, if you want to see 4074 with Aero, you can do it in virtual machines. There are tutorials online and there are plenty of other YouTube videos, including my own on 4074, where you can see it with transparency in action. So go check those out. Not right now, but go check them out later. Right, check them out later. Um, okay, so let's see. How is the quality of the stream going? Let's just see. Um, oh, did it die? I think it died. That is not good. What, what on earth? Okay, are we back? Yes, we're back. I seem to remember last time we had a few problems with like, I don't know, like the stream being a bit weird, like it's not usually bad at all, is it? Uh, 
Evergreen says we're back if you refresh. Like, literally, I'm having to refresh on my end, guys. I mean, this is not good. I don't know what's going on. But let's find out. We'll give it a minute. Right, I think we are back. Yeah, we are back. Yeah, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I seem to remember last time we streamed, we had some problems. And it's weird because we net, like, in terms of, like, the actual quality of the stream, like, buffering and stuff, we don't usually have those sorts of problems, right? We have problems in the builds, but not with the actual streams. Let's keep an eye on it. If I need to, I'll put the call. In fact, let's just put the video quality down a little bit because that may help. It's definitely not my internet connection, guys. It is not my connection. My connection is perfect at the moment. So let's uh, let's just put these down a little bit. Let's put the video down to maybe 5,000 kbps. Let's try this. Um, okay, let's go back to VMware. Apologies for that brief interruption. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, I'll just give this a minute. And we'll just see whether everything's going to be okay. Because I don't want to start playing games and then find out that the stream's gone off. Um, okay, so let's see. Solar Strike, yeah, there are a lot of drop frames. 30%. I have no idea. It's weird. It's really weird. I don't know why. Hello, the sky, by the way. Thanks for joining. Okay, so just let me know if anyone has any other problems. Okay, Pancake and Solar Strike are mentioning software encoding. Why? Let's have a look. Why is that? I don't think it should be on that. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Why can I not change it either? <sighs> what? Oh, it's probably because I'm already streaming, isn't it? Oh, okay, right. So that's... I don't think I can change that at the moment without actually killing the stream. So maybe I'll... Maybe after today's stream, I will investigate that setting because I don't think it should be on software encoding, right? <laughs> So yeah, let's literally, let's maybe give it like 30 seconds. If it's still really bad, then I guess, I think with YouTube, I don't know if anyone else streams, but I think if you like, if you turn the stream off and then come back like within a certain amount of time, I think it actually does actually continue. But I don't know what that time limit is. So I'd have to literally stop streaming, change the setting and come straight back. Otherwise it might just actually kill the whole stream. Like as in we'd have to get a new link and set up the whole stream again, which is obviously not ideal. Yeah, Johnny, exactly. The stream will just die. So that's not ideal. Okay, so um, XGX Game says laggy. Philip says buffering a little bit. What do we think? Should we do a vote? Let's do a vote. Okay, let's do a quick poll. Should I, should I end the stream, change the encoding, or try changing the encoding and come back? I'm not going to put that as the poll question because it'll take too long to write out, but just give me a yes or no. So let's go for reset stream. Let me know what you think. If I if I reset the stream and the link dies, then if you just go to Twitter, Discord, the channel page, you'll get a new link and a notification. So let me know what you think. Yes or no. Should I give this a go? It may or may not help. Okay, that is an overwhelming yes. So I will do that. So I will kill the stream, change the setting. I'll do it as quickly as possible and try and come straight back. If I don't come back, then check Twitter or Discord. You'll get a new link and we'll start again. Okay. See you all in a sec. Hopefully if all goes well. Wish me luck. Okay, let's see. I'll be back. I'll be back on the same link. Let's find out. I think we are actually. I think we actually are. Guys, I think we're back. Just give me a sign. We're back. Okay, I've got bad news. The only option in the encoding settings was for, soft was for software encoding. So I think it's literally always been that way for all the streams I've ever done. I don't know whether it's a Mac thing, but that was the only option. So the only thing that I've thought of trying, which I've just done, is change the byte rate from constant to variable may help i don't know but basically yeah the settings are pretty much what they've always been apparently although interesting now 
Now OBS is saying that there are no dropped frames. This is a good sign. Zero dropped frames. I think this is good. So maybe the fact that I changed from constant to variable byte rate, that may have helped. Yeah, I think so. Because actually, if you think about it, that actually will, like, that's a massive change, right? That is actually, a ma that should make a massive difference. So yeah, maybe that. Yeah, it, makes, yeah, it seems to have made a difference. Orbitron says no lag. Ollie says smooth. Perfect. Okay, guys, well, I think we sorted it. Thanks for your help anyway. So there you okay, go. Now we know what to do in future. We'll go for variable byte rate. Okay, anyway. So let me know if there are any other problems with the stream. Okay, anyway, let's uh, let's go to our build. So here we are in 407.4. Now, if you're not aware about this, just a little bit about this build. It's an early build of Windows Vista. This is from before the... It's quite late before the development reset. So before the whole process was, re was reset, which was about mid... I want to say 2005. I always get this date wrong. So it's quite a late build from before everything was reset. So it's very famous. It's probably one of the most famous Windows development builds. I don't really know why. Although I remember back in the day, uh, around about 2004, which is when this build is from, this was the one that was all over the internet. So I remember actually literally downloading this at the time when I had an XP laptop on and burning it to a CD and actually trying it out at the time. So yeah, it was definitely very well known at the time. Still is. So very famous build. I don't really know why. I don't actually know why, but but anyway, it's very well known. So yeah, you can see some things here that are very Vista-esque, such as the sidebar, which obviously made it into Vista. We still have kind of like an X, kind like kind of an XP look, right? A little bit of an XP look, especially the start button and the start menu. So yeah, it's a kind of like a mishmash of XP and Vista, basically. That is 4074. Um, yeah, so I thought, firstly, in terms of gaming, what better way to start than to have a look at some of the games that are already in 4074. So let's have a look at these early Vista games in 4074. Uh, I'm not going to play all of these because number one, I can't and I'm really bad at some of them, but I'll just have a go at a few of these. So let's start with a nice casual game just to kick us off. We'll have a go at Solitaire. Who doesn't like Solitaire? Now, as you can see, this is the actually this is the XP version of Solitaire. So it's pretty much exactly the same as XP's. So let's have a go at this anyway. Why not? I can actually play this one. So this actually helps. Some of the other ones I can't play. Or oh, I can, but then I forget how to play them. But Solitaire I'm okay with. Uh, so yeah. Oh, in fact, I want to change this setting. I want to draw one, not three. And I don't like being timed because that puts pressure on me. Okay, let's have a go. Solitaire. And then I'll explain what we're actually going to do with the other games. Uh, so... Um, ooh, okay, right, so... So, yeah, Solitaire, apparently Windows Solitaire, is one of the most played video games ever, which makes sense, right, because it obviously is included with Windows. So, yeah, very popular game, especially with office workers, I'd imagine. Let me know, by the way, if I'm missing any obvious moves here. This could actually be kind of embarrassing. Uh, this is actually not a very good start to Solitaire, is it? This is kind of worrying. Um, I've definitely had better games of Solitaire. I'm not feeling this one at the moment. This could go one way or the other. This is definitely not looking good at all. Not to jinx it. I mean, I probably have already jinxed it, haven't I? But yeah, this does not look like a good game of Solitaire. Oh, no. Um, okay. Yeah, this is not good. I think, I'm, I think guys, I'm literally going to lose the first game of the evening and it's Solitaire. This is not good. This is really not good. Oh my gosh. I, th I actually think we're out of moves. I think we are out of moves. Let's have a quick look. Have I missed anything obvious? I don't think so. No, I think we are actually out of moves. Okay, great. Well, that was Solitaire. 
So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> I mean, it's a game of chance, right? It's a game of chance. It's not skill based, right? So yeah. Um, anyway, let's shall we move on to actual proper games that are not solitaire? I mean, not to be horrible to solitaire. It's a good game if you're in the mood. But yeah, that was awful. Anyway, right. So basically, in terms of games that we're actually going to be looking at now, obviously, firstly, I just want to say I know I'm not going to be able to play everyone's favorite XP slash slash Vista era game because there are obviously millions of them, probably or definitely hundreds and thousands. Uh, but I thought a good way to kind of narrow this down is to go for games that I actually physically own. So these are games that I bought or were bought for me either during that period of time or in quite a lot of cases here probably before that period of time but i just thought this was probably a good way to do it and also we kind of get an authentic experience because number one these are games that i actually played and owned so obviously i i like these and also we get to install them from the actual original discs fun times right definitely definitely i mean what could go wrong nothing right it's flawless this plan so yes I think that is what we will do. Um, so, yeah, these are kind of in a random order. Um, so, in no particular order, this is just the order that I actually actually just got them from the shelf. We'll go with the first game. Um, yeah, so I've got a little external CD drive here, which is hooked up, hopefully still hooked up to the virtual machine. Let's find out. Apologies if it looks like I'm trying to like um, do some escapism here, but... I don't have a lot of room on my desk at all, so I'm having to kind of move around five million different things to actually get to this CD drive. Don't live in the UK, our houses are really small. It's tiny. <laughs> okay, right, so let's hope it looks like that this has been detected. Yes, Johnny, what could go wrong? I mean, what could go wrong? Whatever goes wrong in a Windows on Windows stream, nothing, nothing ever goes wrong. Um, yeah, so this is Age of Empires Gold, which is the first version of Age of Empires. So like I said, some of these games are a little bit before XP. So I think this was 1998 and this was the one that I actually tried out earlier. As in, I put the disc in the drive earlier just to check whether it was actually being detected. And I noticed that it gives you that error message straight away. So it firstly does not like the build of Windows that we're currently running. Uh, but let's see if we can actually get around that. I'm not sure, but we'll give it a go. So it was designed for Windows Windows 98, I think, I'm pretty sure, or 98 second edition. So theoretically, it should work with, it definitely works on XP and Vista. I'm not sure, there might be a way that we can kind of coax it to work on this build. So yeah, look, you can see it doesn't like this to start with. So let's see if we can try some compatibility settings. Oh, I forgot about this properties box. Oh, this is awful. Okay, compatibility. Not to jinx it, but this should help. Let's find out. Famous last words. There's definitely more disk activity. This could be a good sign. Okay, well, we don't have the error message, so that is a good sign, right? Let's see if we can actually get it to actually start installing. Okay, this is definitely a good sign. Okay, guys, I think we may have overcome that first problem. So, um, yeah, Philip says this is not an XP game. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit before XP. I will give you that. But that's fine, right? I mean, some of these games are actually really good, even though they're, you know, a little bit older than XP, especially Age of Empires. I mean, come on, this is a classic. So yeah, we'll give it a go. Um, I'm not promising that I'm going to be good at these games, but I do enjoy playing them. So, you know, it's probably going to be awful, but we'll give it a go. Let me know, by the way, how is the sound? Because I'm not sure about sound levels and all that stuff. So just let me know. If it's too loud, I can turn the sound down. Let me know that you can actually, can you hear the sound from the virtual machine? Just let me know. Thank you to Rebello and Demax who say, or Demax, the sound is fine. That is good. 
Okay, so yeah, when this is installing, and if you have not ever installed anything from a flo um, from a floppy disk, or not a floppy disk, a CD or DVD, it's relatively quite slow. So any installations or setups, it will be a good chance to have a little tea break. So I will do that now. So I've actually today, I've actually been out all afternoon. So I've actually not drunk a lot of tea. I think I've had one cup of tea. It's really bad actually. And for that reason, or probably for that reason, I've got a massive headache at the moment. So this is, I, I definitely need this tea. So let's, uh, let's pour some tea. Um, guys that are talking about the choppy camera, I think it's because it's a USB camera and so is the optical drive. So that's probably causing some issues there. That's okay actually though, because I can easily change the camera. In fact, I may do that. Let's actually do that while this is installing. Was anyone expecting a professional stream? Because it's not. <laughs> so I hope you don't mind. Okay, let's change the camera. I can definitely do this. Let's just go to the actual built-in Mac camera, which won't be choppy but it doesn't look as good as you can see this is the mac camera definitely could be better right could be better okay just let me know the camera should not be choppy if it is then i don't know what is causing the choppiness Orbitron says this camera looks better, really? Does it really look better? Still choppy. Okay, um, if it's gonna be a problem, then I will, I'll just use ISO files. Most of these games, not all of them, but most of the ones, especially the ones I like the most, I have backed up as ISO files, so we could always go that way. If the disk drive is going to be a problem, it's actually being really slow as well. Like it's not usually this slow. Anyway, since I've started installing Age of Empires, we may as well just wait for this to finish. But I think probably for the other games, we're probably going to want to go with ISO files if it's going to mess up with the camera. Because yeah, you don't want that, do you? That's not good. So yeah, anyway, anyone got any experience of Age of Empires? Have you got any Age of Empires fans? And if you are a fan, which game do you like the most? Because you've got a few options, right? You've got Age of Empires 1, which is obviously the original game. Age of Empires 2, Age of Empires 3, Age of Mythology, and also Age of Empires 4 that recently came out. So any Age of Empires fans and which ones do you like and why? Let me know. Hibby is not a fan. That's fine. Orbitron used to love Age of Empires 3. Oh my god. Age of Empires 3, right? It is my favourite one. I just don't know. There's something about it. Robello says Age of Empires 2. I mean, I remember when that came out, actually. So I had Age of Empires 1. And then it was, I think it was a family member that had Age of Empires 2, right? And I saw them playing the game and I was like, wow, like the, the graphics, right? I know this sounds com completely ridiculous now. The graphics really like wowed me. I was like, wow, that's such an upgrade compared to the first one. It looked so much better. Even though nowadays that sounds really ridiculous, right? Because they both have kind of really bad graphics. But at the time, it looked like a massive upgrade. It really did. True the Queen is an Age of Empires 1 fan. Nice. I think definitely Age of Empires 1 and 3. Those would be my personal favourites. Any Age of Mythology fans in the stream? Because I kind of forget about this. It's a kind of a bit weird, right? Age of Mythology. So it's like Age of Empires. But it has like fictional... Basically like fictional god slash deity creatures in it. It's kind of hard to explain. Still a good game. Very good game.
yeah my camera looks awful on my preview of the stream this is definitely not good see i should have tested this everything else checked out right i was like yeah optical drive check camera check optical drive and camera at the same time clearly not a good combo so yeah we'll let this finish and then i think i'll just use iso files in the future because that'll be a bit better This is probably, honestly, the slowest installation of Age of Empires I've ever seen, which is probably not good. I, I, don't, I don't know where the bottleneck is, but there's a bottleneck somewhere, right? I don't know whereabouts that is. Yeah, Solar Strike, they are, and I don't know why. I think it's this really cheap off-brand external USB CD drive that I've plugged in. I just have a feeling it's probably that. Nice to see you open rain, by the way. Didn't catch you earlier, but thanks for joining. Dominic says try disabling the sidebar. Do you think it's actually 4074 that is using all the resources? Let's find out, actually. That's a good point. Maybe it is. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, it's not the VM. The VM is fine. Yeah, Sky, I, like, if I had to guess, I'd say it is the drive, because it's one of those really cheap ones you can get on eBay that have no brand, right, probably, like, made in China. Not that I have anything against China, but a lot of these kind of cheap off-brand things come from China, just because a lot of things get made there. I guess the good thing about Age of Empires is once it's installed, it doesn't need to actually use anything from the disc itself. So as long as you check the full installation, which I did, it'll copy everything to the hard disk drive. So it only, it literally only needs the disk because it just does a disk check when you start the app or program and then it'll just run from the hard drive. Oh yeah, 71%, okay, right. How is everyone anyway? Because I feel like it's been a long time, right? When was the last stream? I think it was, when was it? Was it November? I actually can't remember now. It's been too long. It has been too long. Open Rain, I'm glad to know you're doing good. And everything Windows, yes, it has been too long. It's been so long. You know, like if you, you know, like, in the summer right when school's out and then you have to go back to school after summer and it all feels a bit weird because you haven't been there for for a long time that's how i feel when i haven't streamed for a long time do you know what i mean like i feel just a little bit weird it all seems a bit strange even though it shouldn't because we've done this loads right um, okay so gareth and ollie glad to know you're both good and true the queen glad to know you are also good and Sky says, I have, I'm have, i doing okay. I have a week to edit down two hours worth of footage. That sounds really fun. Um, Orbitron says, very tired. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not tired, but I have a massive headache and I don't know why. I have taken paracetamol. Solar Strike, when are you streaming again? Um, name, surname is asking which version of VM. Not sure, I could be lying. Okay, I don't know if this was... I think this was just a VMware blip. I don't know whether you saw this, but it came up with an error message about the disk drive. <laughs> Not to panic anyone. 
And yeah, don't panic. The audio has disappeared. I, yeah, I think that was something that happened and the VM didn't like that, but it appears to still be installing. So don't panic. It's fine. Oh my god, the mic died. Oh no, this has got to be a USB thing, right? Oh no, I'm going to have to... Okay, guys, once we've played Age of Empires, this CD-ROM drive is going away. <laughs> because I'm not I'm not risking it. Sky, you're probably right. The disk drive is probably dying. We live and learn, right? And I've learned today, don't live stream with optical drives because that doesn't work very well. That's fine. Now we know the future. If we do any more gaming live streams, I think we're going to want to go with ISO files. Name, surname, I think it's version 16. I was just saying that I think the Mac... Are the Mac versions of VMware, do they use different version numbers than the Windows ones? I'm sure they do. Isn't Windows, like, a bit behind that? I have no idea. Okay, no, I don't want desktop icons. I like to have clean desktops. In fact, usually I don't have any icons on my desktop. I would usually actually do this and just hide them all because I cannot stand having icons. So what I used to do with like 7 and above when you had the ability to pin things to the taskbar, I used to basically pin everything I wanted on the taskbar and have nothing on my desktop. Um, okay. Right. So, we are installed. Okay. I've always found this weird, right? If you've ever owned an original copy of Age of Empires, then on this splash screen, this autoplay screen, there's no option to play the game. Look, there's just no option. You can reinstall it or uninstall it and do these other, but there's you can't actually just play the game from this autoplay menu. Don't you think that's weird? Like, what? why is that? That's so weird. Anyway. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Age of Empires and then I'm going to disconnect this horrible disk drive when it's actually started yeah so now we don't actually need this at all so let's remove this if i disappear it's because my computer blew up but don't worry i will return i think i'm still here that's good yeah i think i'm still here okay the drive is disconnected i left the disk in it why did i do that that's really stupid oh, i'll sort that out later oh no Please tell me that we don't need that. Okay, I don't think we do. But the VM audio has died, hasn't it? Can anyone hear any music from the VM? Because I don't hear anything. And that is, a, that is a bad sign. So I think the audio driver died. Oh my gosh, Longhorn, don't do this to me. Not today. I'm just... No, my headache is too... My headache is too severe to deal with Longhorn. This was a bad choice. Right, so Explorer crashed, but that's fine. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, launch Explorer again. And let's hope that it comes back. What I want to do is check that the audio is still working. Maybe I, maybe I should just restart this. What do you think? Oh, no. Okay, I think I'm just going to restart it. That's probably going to be quicker. Yeah, let's just do that. At least you get to see the nice Longhorn 474 boot screen because I love this. Look at this. It's like the XP one, but you got this nice orange colored progress bar. I love it. It's so good. Dominic, thank you. I probably will disable the sidebar because I think that doesn't help, actually, does it, in terms of Explorer stability in 4074, I seem to remember. True the Queen says the orange progress bar is so good. I, it's great, isn't it? I love it. I just love orange. Oh, my God. Longhorn, really? I 
I mean, really? The amount of time that we've just waited for Age of Empires to install. Really? Okay, it's got one more chance. Longhorn, this is your last chance. Phantom says Longhorn moment. I mean, yeah, exactly. You can't make it up, can you? Oh, gosh. Oh, guys, I think I'm going to need some sort of, I don't know, some sort of stronger painkillers here. Longhorn, please don't do this to me. I mean, I have a snapshot, so it's okay. If it if it blue screens again, I'm going to go back to my snapshot, and then we'll just use an ISO to install Age of Empires, because I have that anyway, so that'll be a lot quicker. Right, did we get this far last time? I don't know, but... Let's not jinx it. So, okay, let's turn off the sidebar. So, we don't want sidebar. Okay. Now we get an even more XP-ish taskbar. Right, do we have sound? I just want to check this, because you have to have sound for Age of Empires. Okay, sound. Oh, my God. It, uh, how did it kill the audio? Like, how did it do that? Oh. Okay. Okay. For some reason, it's decided that, that now the audio is not going to work. <laughs> Orbitron, you're right, it's incredible. Okay, hang on, let's just see, is it working in Device Manager? Yes. Oh, oh Longhorn. Okay, right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to my snapshot. And we're just going to install Age of Empires from the ISO file. I think that will be that will be quicker. I could reinstall VMware Tools, Ollie. Yeah, you're right. I could do that, but I think this is this is more of a safe option, right? <laughs> so let's just go back to the point where I knew everything was working, and we'll do it this way. Right. Let's turn off the sidebar again. Okay, so we want to turn off sidebar. Okay, let's just check the audio is actually working in this snapshot. Yes, it was. I just heard it. Okay, fine. Right. I'm just going to become full screen for a moment because I'm just not sure where this ISO file is. Um, okay, let's see. So... Okay, games. Age of Empires... Age of Empires Gold Edition. Perfect. ISO open. Connect CD drive. Okay, and we're good. We are good. Okay, so let's do this again. Right, take what? Take three? Take two? Three? I'm not sure. Right, so we want to go in here. I guess now we can actually see how much quicker it's going to be right using an ISO file. So run in 95 compatibility mode. Okay, and now be amazed by the speed of the installation. Okay. Pull the game and continue. Yes, you can create folder. Okay. Oh my gosh, look how much faster it is. Okay, this idea, future me, this idea using actual optical discs, this was a really bad idea. Really bad. I mean, why did I even think that was a good idea? For some reason though, my CPU is literally maxed out on my actual computer. Like, I don't know why that is. Just from installing Age of Empires in a VM. I mean, what? Yeah, like, Orbitron, why is my camera lagging? Why is that? Why is this maxing my CPU usage? 
it's kind of worrying. Let's hope that actually playing the game is not going to cause any lag. Let's find out. Okay, exit. Right. Guys, this is the moment of truth. Let's hope and pray that it actually does not break. Okay, let's go. Okay, that is a good sign. That's fine. We can skip that. Okay, I need to turn this volume down somehow. Um... Okay, just let me know about the audio level. I've had to turn it down a little bit because it was really loud for me. But let me know that you can still hear this, okay? Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. Right, so I'm going to go to a random map, because I always do this. And you can customise everything about your your game. Okay, so let's do this. Um, okay, so uh, let's go for... Okay, I always... My favourite map, okay, is Small Islands. And I'll, I'll tell you why when I start playing. Let's go for moderate difficulty. That's fine. Uh, this is all fine. I'm going to go for, I want to say, a huge map because I want to make sure that I'm not going to have enemies right next to me. So huge map. Okay, that's fine. Then I want to be... I'm going to go for Egyptian, because that was always my favourite, but everyone else can be random. So let's put all these on random. I think probably to save time... Oh, I don't know. How many players... Shall I be on a team with the computer versus two AIs, or shall it just be me versus one to save time? What do we think? I'm actually going to ask. Let me know what you'd choose. So we could go for two players or four. It depends how long you want to watch me play Age of Empires. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. So two or four. So two, that is just me versus the computer. Four, that means I'm on a team with a computer versus two other computer players. Let me know. It's up to you guys. I don't mind. Anyway, I want to change my colour. So let's go for orange. Has to be orange, clearly, because that is the best colour. Okay, so just two players. I mean, I don't blame you, to be honest. I'm just biased because I love Age of Empires. So let's go for two players. Okay, so me versus the computer. Although, to be fair, four is catching up. Okay, guys, you've got 20 seconds. 20 seconds. You've got about 10 seconds. Okay, definitely two. That's fine. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. It's been so long since I've actually played it at this resolution as well. This is so weird. Okay, so. Okay, I think, touch wood, I'm actually pretty good at this game. But because I'm playing it in a virtual machine, and it's a little bit weird, that's my excuse if it all goes wrong. Okay, just to let you know. Okay, I'm just going to have to turn this. Turn this sound down a little. Oh my gosh. Let me just turn this sound down a little bit because it's a bit too loud here. Okay, hopefully you can still hear this. Just let me know. Shouldn't be too quiet. Let's go for about there. Oh my gosh. Longhorn. Longhorn lag. <sighs> Longhorn lag. Longhorn lag. 
I may have to turn this music off because the laggy music is distracting me from the actual game. Oh no. Windows Laghorn. Good one. I'm not paying to access the article. Good one. Windows Laghorn. Because we used to have some lag in the streams, right? But that was when I had a dying hard drive. Now I have a new SSD, so it's definitely not that anymore. Right, so we want to get loads of food, basically. Oh, I forgot how slow this first game was. Okay, but it's okay, actually, because you can actually change the game speed. Let's go for very fast. I'm going to put the resolution up as well. Famous last words. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, look at that. Yes, get those berries. We want loads of berries, guys. We need food. Loads of food. Okay, yeah, hang on. This is way too laggy. Okay, let's turn the music off. Maybe let's just go for fast. We'll put this down a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit better. True the Queen, thanks for joining. I will see you next time, hopefully. So yeah, this is Age of Empires 1. As you can see, the graphics, um, they evolved, they definitely evolved quite a lot, didn't they? From the first game. Other games out of the way. Um, so. Seriously, why is it this laggy? Okay, hang on, let me just check. Is it my actual... Oh. Okay, OBS is using 30% of my CPU for a start. That's awful. That really is awful. Okay, what if I just minimize OBS? Does that help at all? Maybe. Okay, I could be imagining this, but that actually seems to have helped a lot by just minimizing OBS. Oh my gosh, was it that the whole time? Guys, I think it was OBS the whole time causing the lag. Oh, what is wrong with me? Okay, I'm, guys, I'm really sorry. It's my headache. Okay, it's my headache. Oh dear, this... What a day. Right, now we can put the music back up because it's not laggy and therefore it's not annoying me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Can someone just give me a time check here? How long have I been streaming? And I've just realised it was OBS the home the whole time that caused all that lag. Oh, whatever. <sighs> right. We're on moderate difficulty here, so I think we probably need to actually start um doing something so let's get a dock built probably not there because that looks like it's a tiny little lake we want to go find the shoreline let's do that let's turn this volume up a bit okay the audio can be a bit louder now because it's not annoying me because it's not laggy anymore i can't believe that guys i actually cannot believe that the whole like an hour yeah richard thanks it's been almost an hour and that whole time the reason it was so laggy is because of OBS. Oh no. I'm going to get killed by lions. This is the last thing I need right now. Please leave me alone. Okay. Right, that's fine. We evaded the lions. Might want to build a dock here. Um, yeah, so anyway, remember how I was saying that? I always like to play small islands. That's because... Um, now the music is annoying me again. Yeah, that's because what I like to do is basically get loads of resources here to start with. Then build a dock, which I'm about to do. Make a transport ship and then take my whole civilization to a tiny island. 
and basically build my whole civilization there. I don't know why, I just always found that really fun. If you're on a tiny island, you have to be really like, I don't know, really sensible about what you build and where you build it because you don't have a lot of room. So yeah, it's however, there is an advantage because if you go for building a wonder to win the game, then if you're on a tiny island, you could build your wonder in the middle, have all your buildings around it, and they actually act like protection for your wonder. So yeah, we can do that. Oh, so I need to age up before I actually get a transport ship. So we need 800 food and that was 500 food. Okay, so we're almost ready to age up. Just need a few more foods. A few more foods. I'm literally making up words now. This is not good. <laughs> XGX, thanks for joining. See you next time, hopefully. Um, okay. Ooh, so Solar Strike has just reminded me that, yeah, now there are kind of like remastered versions of these games called Definitive Editions. Oh, I need another building. Let's go for Granary. Look, I've not played it in so long, I've forgotten my tactic. This is not good. Yeah, so there are uh, remastered versions of Age of Empires 1, 2, 3, and Age of Mythology. Um, there's, there have been a few, I think, actually. The Age of Mythology, there is like a remastered version. There's no definitive edition yet, but the other three have definitive editions, which have like new features and stuff as well. Better graphics. So, yeah, but this is just the original version of the game. Right, so now we can age up, right? Oh, I love it so much. Uh, guys, I used to play this so much. It's just ridiculous all the time, all the time. And I mean, believe it or not, these graphics back in the day, we were impressed. Like, we were literally impressed by these. Uh, so, yeah. You know what? This moving to a small island thing, I may actually not do that because I kind of feel like now that I've literally already built a dark granary, I've got loads of houses, I may well just stay here. What do we think? Shall I stay here? Ah, Rebello, thank you. I may have set up the stream to be voice activated. That's probably what I've done here. Or oh, actually, i tell you what I think it is. I think it's because the level of the audio in the VM is so quiet that it's below whatever that threshold is. Let's just turn this up a bit. This may help. I just want to make sure the music's not really loud and distracting. So let's just... I think that should be okay. Okay, you should be able to hear the audio better now. It should be a bit louder, hopefully. Let's turn this down a little bit. Um, yeah, so next poll. Should I stay on this island or should I go to a different one? So should I go with my usual tactic or should I actually play the game the way I'm probably meant to? So stay or leave. It doesn't matter at all, but let me know. Shall I stay here or shall I do my whole relocating to a new island tactic? Where am I being attacked? What on earth? I've been attacked by a crocodile. Um, okay. Okay, stay or leave, stay or leave, stay or leave. Okay, folks that have the stream minimized, come vote in this poll, please, because it's 50 50 at the moment. Shall I stay on this island or shall I relocate? Stay? Why are you standing around doing nothing? Okay, am I staying? How am I staying? Leave. Oh no, guys, now I can't build things until we decide. Oh, okay, leave. 59% say leave. Solar Strike's being very diplomatic and saying do what works for you. Nice. I like that. Okay, so I think leave. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's get a transport ship anyway, because that's useful. So we'll do that. And then what we want to do is get all these people to 
to the transport ship. So you go over there. Now I think you can only have 10 units in the ship at once. We don't need the artifact. So how many was that? Seven, eight. So that's 10. Okay, thanks guys. I'm gonna relocate. I have no idea where this other island is, but we will do that. Okay, so we'll just... You can go and chop wood while I do this, so... Is it five or ten? Okay, literally five people. That's how many fit on this boat. So that's what we're going to have to do, I'm afraid. Okay, you just go chop that tree for a second. Okay, let's try and find where this other island is. So there should be a few. There should be two large ones. The enemy will be on one, I'll be on this one. And then there should be some small ones kind of in the middle somewhere. So let's have a look. This looks like this could be a small island. Oh, that's tiny. Okay, that's way too small. So we're not going to be using that one. Oh, I don't know, actually. Let's see. Could just be a very long island. Mm, maybe it's just a long island. I'm just going to check because I do not want to end up on the enemy's island, basically. Okay, this looks like it could be what I want. Yes, okay, guys, we're going for this one. Where there are apparently no resources or anything, but that's fine. So we'll get these uh, people moving. Um, are there literally are there literally any resources here apart from fish? I don't think so. Oh yeah, there's some gold over here. So, you go this way. You can go be a fisherman. Okay, gold, I mean, that is important. Not really quite yet, but never mind. Ooh, and some wood. Right, so what we need is a storage pit to start with. So this is where they can store the resources. Solar Strike, I did not play that game. I actually don't recognize that either. Tell me about it though, because I don't know what it is. Right, now they're all going to stand around until there's a place for them to put these resources. So when this is built, they can actually carry on doing what they're doing. Um, so let's get some of those as well. Right, come on, you can start stockpiling things now, let's go. Um, okay, right, so that's all fine. Now I think what you can do is, I think I used to do this, if you destroy your town centre, I think you can rebuild it. I used to always rebuild mine on the island. Why do these animals keep attacking everyone? Oh my gosh. I mean, was that worth it? Yeah, so I used to literally, I was really weird, right? I don't know, I was a weird child. I used to destroy my town centre and all my buildings and then rebuild everything on the island. So you know what? Let's go for that because what have we got to lose here? I guarantee, I bet you've never seen anyone play Age of Empires like this. Let's just, let's just say that. Uh, right, so let's build some houses over here. I want to leave that space for a watchtower, so we'll come back to that. Let's uh, start there. Please don't get in the way. Okay, so you build those. You build that one. Come on, guys. We're on a tight schedule here. Right, and then we're going to need a storage pit on this island. How much wood do we need? 120. So we'll get a storage pit on that island, delete the town centre, then rebuild it on the small island. I mean, this all makes sense, right? This is definitely all fine, not weird at all. Okay, so, okay, go and 
fish for a second. Why do they stand around? It's like, oh. Okay, this is one of the most annoying things about the first game. They, if if something runs out, right, like if they chop the tree down and use all, and, and collect all the wood, if there are no other trees nearby, they will just stand there and do nothing until you notice and tell them to go do something else. It's very annoying. Okay, so let's build this. I'm going to build it kind of over there because that's where most things are. Right, now I'm going to delete the town centre. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so... Go build that. You go build that as well. Come on, guys. We've got a tight schedule here. Let's get this built. Okay, perfect. Now go get wood. Perfect. Okay, that's that sorted. So, we'll get that over here. Delete the dock. Okay, and we have officially migrated to our new island. So, let's get some defences to start with. So, um, oh, we need stone as well. Oh, okay. Right, stone. Okay. Guys, go get stone. Let's build a new dock. So we'll pop that there. Orbiton says, um, why does the island look like Europe, does it? This looks like Europe. I mean, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess. This is kind of like, what, Spain, Portugal, France. There's no UK, though. Unless this is the UK here. That's kind of sad. Music's a little bit annoying. Okay, right, so... Right, what do we need? We need... Dock, that's being built. Okay, what else do we need? Um, some watchtowers, but we need stone for those. So we need these people to literally hurry up. So come on, let's go. Go get stone. Um, okay. Perfect. So we've got a dock. Okay. Shall we try? How much do we need to rebuild our town centre? 200 wood! That's a bargain! That is a bargain. Okay, so let's rebuild this there. Nice. Right, what else do we need? Basically everything, because I've just not built anything that's actually important. So... Okay, watchtowers. Right, I'm just gonna... Wait till I get enough stone to build another watchtower. So what I'd like to do is, around the edge of the island, we're going to defend ourselves with watchtowers. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> MLX says, that single villager was walking to the town centre and saw how it was destroyed by an unknown force. I mean, yeah, there you go. I'm all-powerful. See what I mean? Remember what I was saying about how if something runs out, they'll just stand there and not do anything? There's literally another fish right there. Just go and get that one. You can share it. It's fine. You can both fish from the same fish. That makes no sense grammatically, but that's fine. Uh, right, let's build another watchtower. So I don't know. I'm guessing the enemy is going to be somewhere over here. So let's prioritize having watchtowers on this side of the island. I think. Right, you can stop collecting wood for a second. So let's see. We want to have. Um, okay, let's just build some of these stuff. That are building. So granary. Okay, market. That's fine. Go build those. Let's get some more settlers. Oh, we need more houses as well. That's fine. We can do that. We'll double up here. What is attacking me now? Oh my gosh. Let's uh, let's get a warship. Oh, thanks, Solar Strike, for the donation. It's much appreciated. You didn't have to, but thank you. Uh, so, Solar Strike says, for being such a great content creator, even during the times you've been away, 
I try, but yeah, I'm not the best at keeping a schedule. Just because things happen in my life at seemingly random times, and it's kind of annoying. And I get ill a lot. Which is also very annoying. Beakley says, Beakley, Beakley, bro only has 29 views. I mean, that's quite standard for a live stream for this channel. I think I've said this before. I, I actually, I really don't mind how many people watch. If this is entertaining for one person, that's not me, then that's my job done as far as I'm concerned. So if you enjoy watching me play random games and probably be really bad at them, then... That's fine, come join. Right, how are we doing with this? Oh, for goodness sake. Why? Okay, go over here and attack this ship. Oh. Right, we have a wood problem. Has everyone stopped uh, gathering wood? No, okay. Oh no, I should have left more settlers on this island. Never mind. See, this is the advantage of having watchtowers. So we need to build more watchtowers because they can help us attack the ships. Alright, so... Look, now they're literally being really petty and trying to attack my actual settlers. That is very petty. Um. Oh wow, everything Windows says it's 5.13am there. Wow, that is very early. Technical George says that I'm entertained. Thanks George, I'm glad you found it entertaining. So let's try, did I see your XP video? Um, is it a recent one? I think the last one I watched was when you did that custom build that you installed XP on. If that's what you're talking about, then yes, I saw that one. I enjoyed that, by the way. It was very relaxing. Um, okay, so... Right, so... I'm trying to think. See, this headache, guys, this headache is not allowing me to actually think. What do I need to prioritise here? Defences, probably. I usually go with trying to defend myself rather than attacking straight away, which may or may not be a good strategy. I'm not sure. Well, I think we need to get some more people on wood here, so let's do that. Definitely could have done with some more uh, villagers, but never mind. It's fine. Um, right, so the... Let's see... Right, we just need, let's see, we need a barracks. I'll pop that over here, I think. Let's just put a watchtower there. And then we'll have a barracks there. Oh. I forgot that they all have to be completely clear of the area before you can actually build something there. Right, that's fine. So that's being built. Right, we've got loads of food, but not enough of anything else. So, let's go back here. And let's build a transport ship. Because the enemy already destroyed the one I already built. And let's get some people back on the other island where there are actually resources that we can actually get. Which is kind of helpful. Where am I being attacked now? Let's see. Oh, here. Right, you're going back to the other island, so are you. I definitely could have organised this better, but never mind guys, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Get on the boat! So, 
go unload there. Let's get another ship. That's fine. Okay, go get wood. No, not you, because you can't do that. You're a boat. Okay. All right, let's get these people on wood as well. There's a severe wood shortage here. Spark says, am I late? You are late, but to be fair, with the amount of technical problems I've had, which I was kind of expecting, you're pretty much on time. Um, let's see. Um, I'm sorry, I'm probably going to say this wrong. In Zaggy says, what game is that? This is Age of Empires 1. Johnny exactly, on time, literally. Basically, in future, whenever I say the stream is going to start, allow probably about 45 minutes for me to fix the lag, sort out the technical problems, and then from about then, we're probably good to go. Biotley says, you're so underrated. I always thought that you, you have about 500,000 sub subscribers since OS is a very well-known genre. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, tech YouTubers are very common, aren't they? Very common. I think my, like, my channel is very niche, right? I mean, I know there are other channels that cover the same topics as me, and this applies to them as well. We're a niche section of tech YouTube because we only... Do content on windows so it's like tech tubers but also a specific subset of tech tubers that only look at windows and there's quite a few of us to be fair it's kind of i mean it's a very niche interest so i like the fact that there are you know quite a few people in that category some of which are in the chat now so thanks guys i appreciate it Uh, I have no idea why, but my sound output was muted. That makes no sense. Is the sound still okay? I have no idea whether that's made any difference. It was just muted for some reason. I don't know why. I was trying to turn the volume of this VM down. Uh, okay. Right, how are we doing? Okay, we've definitely got a bit more wood now, so this is helpful. Right, uh, so... Let's actually build some military buildings, which are helpful, and there's no room for. What civilization is this enemy? Assyrian. Okay, they're very, uh, they're very big on boats, I think. They're a boat fan. Technical George, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. It's a bit weird for me, actually, because I don't... Have I ever done any gaming streams? I don't think so. Maybe one or... I can't... actually cannot remember. But obviously, the channel is not really about gaming. But it is fun to play games, so I thought, why not? And actually, this stream was voted for in a poll a very long time ago. Like, I'm talking probably about six months ago on the channel. And I think I gave a few options, and this is what people chose, so... I think it was a good choice, personally. I think I have quite, I don't know, I either have a niche taste in games or I have a very 90s taste in games. I don't know which one it is. But if we're talking about like XP and Vista era games, right, I know that there are really popular ones like Half-Life and whatever. But I didn't actually play any of those games. Like, literally, when XP was out, I was still playing Age of, like, this game. So, I don't know whether I'm just a bit weird. Or nostalgic for the 90s. Probably both. I was never big on, like, all the, you know, like, 
all the really popular or common games. I wasn't, for example, a console player, really. Like, I had a PS2 because my own parents bought me one for Christmas one year, but I didn't, like, I could have lived without it. Like, I wasn't a massive gamer. Right, let's think. What do we need to do? Okay, we need to age up. Can we do that at this point? I think we can. Yes, I'm a little bit behind with everything here because I, I think I'm a bit out of touch. I've not played this for a while. So, Right, I think we've got reasonable defences here. And to be honest, I, I don't think... It's not like we're going to need to... I don't think we're going to be like literally attacked by the, by the other player, but could be wrong. Weston says, what's the next game on the list? Um, I don't know, actually. It could be anything. I might give you guys a choice. Yeah, I'll give you a choice. I've got lots of games backed up that I've got ISO files for. So, Rollercoaster Tycoon, I think that was one that someone talked about. Maybe on Twitter. Was it on Twitter? I don't know. So, there's a few. Rollercoaster Tycoon, another one of my favourites. What else? I literally can't think. I can think of loads of 90s games that I like. But that's probably not helpful. But 90s games, I like things like Dungeon Keeper, Theme Hospital, Rollercoaster Tycoon was a 90s game originally, but there were a few of those. So. Uh, what else? Tropico, another good game. I kind of like simulation games. The Sims. Yeah, big simulation fan. Uh, right, how are we doing back on the main island here? Oh, that's good. Right, loads of wood. Perfect. I think what I'm going to do now is we'll get some of these people on gold because we're going to need that after we age up. You start to actually require a bit more gold to upgrade stuff and things like that. See what I mean? They, they Look, they love sending ships out to come and, I don't know show off basically i mean what, why else would you just send one ship to where your enemy was apart to just show that you have them like i've got ships but well, so have i right i think what i'm gonna do is since we're on a tiny island right just in case they decide that they're going to come over on a transport ship and drop some troops off let's get some bowmen because they can kind of They've got like a, a kind of like a range, right, where they can attack. So if they see the ship approaching, they can attack from the shoreline. And then if it does get to the shore, they can still attack there as well. So covering both bases. So we'll get a few of those just in case. Let's do some of these upgrades. So, yeah, you may have noticed this, but literally on Age of Empires, one of my favorite things to do is just upgrade everything all the time. So I just literally click on upgrades, probably without even thinking about them. So we definitely want to upgrade our sh uh, fleet of ships here. So we're going to need 150 food. So let's just wait for a minute because we're almost there. Is this another ship? Let's see, where was that? I was being attacked somewhere. Aha, here. Now they're going to try from the other side. Jacob says you should try The Sims next. I love The Sims. Brian, I have not played Dungeon Siege. That sounds like Dungeon Keeper, though. Is that the same sort of thing? Western, yeah, Doom. That's actually an even older 90s game, isn't it? But yeah, love Doom as well. In fact, I only discovered Doom quite recently. Probably last year, I think. I think I had played it as a child, but I never actually like knew it by name, if that makes sense. Like I, I had, like I recognised it, but I don't think when I was a child I appreciated it, that it was really popular and it was called Doom. Okay, now I need more houses, so let's do this. A few more houses. And yeah, I think on Age of Empires one the normal population limit is 50 so actually you don't get many units so in case you haven't played age of empires it's basically all about distributing your resources in the best way possible so obviously collecting as much as you can and then using them to basically allow your civilization to survive and not be killed by the enemy so yeah you can 
there's kind of a few different tactics. You can be one of those players that just puts everything into military units and get a massive army, or you can be someone like me that kind of, that, um, kind of like is a bit more of a slow burner where we will, for example, get lots of upgrades so we get like a better economy first and then use that to our advantage. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's nice because there's not like one way of playing it, right? So you have a choice. I definitely need more villagers. That was a massive issue that I should have sorted at the beginning. Now I'm being attacked on the other island. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is really not helpful. Okay, guys, we're going to abandon this island because... You're going to die if you don't, so get on this boat. Don't leave that. Oh. Right, let's just get... Get on the boat! Okay, get on it. Oh, there's no room. Okay, let's go. Sorry, guys. Never mind. <laughs> you have to make some sacrifices, right, in, the... in these matters. I mean, to be fair, look, they're giving it a go. They're not cowering away from the enemy. Oh, no. Right, so, okay. I think what I used to do is get everyone on here. So for food, you can actually build farms. So you just need wood to do this. So let's get some farms built here. So we can keep uh, getting food, that's fine. Let's get these people on gold, because we're going to need lots of this shortly. So, you go do that. Oh, I think I might build another dock over here. Wood could become a problem, because there is no wood left on this island. But that's okay, I'll worry about that when I get to it. Which is going to be very soon, actually. Uh... So I think we're going to want fishing boats as well. Or food. <laughs> yeah, enjoy it. You can spend all your time trying to get... In fact, I might as well do an upgrade when I'm here. Oh, I don't have enough food. Well, yeah, enjoy destroying my storage pit that I don't need. I'll keep them occupied for a minute. Right, let's go get food. Oh, guys, don't get stuck. Come on. Use your brain. Right, um, faster villagers. Oh, this would be useful. Now we have a food shortage. It was wood to start with. Now it's food. So we need fishing ships pronto. Let's go. Okay, let's upgrade our watchtowers. I'm going to put some of these ships over there. You can patrol that side. Okay, right. So, a few more fishing ships over here. Um, okay. Go fish. Thanks for joining, Brian. I hope you found it entertaining, and I will hope we see you next time. Samuel says, what Vista games can this run? I'm actually not sure because I've never tried playing games on build 4074. Uh... Okay, let's see. We definitely need food. Go fish. Um, okay, go fish there. That's fine. Yeah, the pathfinding on this first Age of Empires is really atrocious. Units get stuck. They have no 
concept of if something runs out i can walk or move to something nearby to carry on getting the same resource you have to be very much on top of everything i seem to remember fishing boats are a bit better i think they do actually move on to more fish if there's some within a reasonable distance but yeah villagers they just they have no concept of doing that they will just stop working if the resource runs out um uh, okay where am i being attacked yeah let's upgrade the fishing boats right what do we need to get to the next age a thousand food and 800 gold um, okay, so... Um, Solar Strike, I think people are dropping out and just want to see the next game. I mean, to be fair, actually, I literally, just to make this as quick as possible, I'm not even going to attack, I don't think. I'm just going to build the wonder, so it'll be quite quick. In fact, let's speed this up a little bit. So, it shouldn't take too long, maybe 10 minutes, I think. So, yeah, if you want to see the next game... Just give it like 10 minutes, I'd say, and come back. Or if you just want to have this on in the background, then obviously feel free. That's fine too. Yeah, look, so some of these boats have moved on, but these ones have decided that that was too much effort for them. So they just sat there doing nothing. Uh, right. So... Oh my gosh, stop attacking me. Yeah, now we're going to have a wood problem, aren't we? So, thankfully we don't need that to actually age up. But we're going to have to... Where's my transport ship? We're going to have to get some people onto a different island here to get wood. Because otherwise, we are not going to be able to do anything. Because you also need wood to build the wonder. So, we're going to need it. Um... <laughs> Uh, Orbiton, I saw your comment about the video. Don't worry about it. Just do it whenever you can. That's fine. Uh, right, so. Wood, wood, wood. Ooh, another artifact. Uh, right, where's the, where are the trees here? Where is there a forest? Okay, perfect. So let's build a storage pit here. Let's hope that the enemy don't come looking for me in this part of the island. It's definitely significantly quicker playing this on very fast speed, isn't it? Thanks for joining, Philip. I will see you next time. Right, how are we doing? So we... Okay, so we just need wood. Can we age up yet? I think we need some buildings. That, yeah, we need some buildings. Okay, so. Um... Right, let's see. So, let's go for government center. If I can find anywhere to put it. Okay, government center. What else? Temple. 200 wood. That's fine, we can wait. Then, once we build the temple, we'll have two buildings so we can age up to the next age. And then I think the next age might be the one where we can build the wonder, or there might be one more after that. Um, okay, right. Temple. It's a long time to build stuff. Right. Come on, build this temple. This is our civilization depends on this. Okay, let's age up. Right. Why? Oh. Go and fish. Yeah, go and get that fish. 
Okay, this is not good. Let's not fish there. That's probably a bad idea. Okay, let's get more watchtowers. Right, um, so, okay, watchtower, fine. How are we doing with aging up? Fine, okay, let's build another watchtower. Um, <laughs> let's build one there. Who was asking about wind sites? Uh, Johnny and I think a few other people. Um, it is coming. It is, yeah, it's just delayed like everything else that I ever work on. But I haven't forgotten about it. It's in the pipeline. Right, I think. Have we aged up? Yeah, we just have. Okay, right. Yeah, so this is the final age. So we can build a wonder here. We're going to need... I, th I think it's a thousand of every resource. Uh, yeah, so... You, oh, not everything. So you need a thousand gold, a thousand stone, a thousand wood. So we're going to need to get people on st uh, gold and stone. So go get gold. And you... Right, I think that's every... Everyone on this island working we definitely need more of these ships don't we so right so stone what we can do about stone let's go find some stone should be somewhere around here somewhere Or you'd think there would be somewhere near here. Oh, come on. Well, there's plenty of wood. If we ever need wood, we know where to come find wood. Oh, not a lion. Okay, apparently there's no stone around this area. So shall we go all the way back over here and get this stone? That was, oh, it's not there anymore. Oh, really? Okay, let's continue looking for stone. Right, where have we not looked? Over here? Uh, yeah, guys, the problem is that, I mean, ideally, right, the only job that I would have would be the YouTube channel, but I have to work in real life as well. It's pretty annoying, but I, I feel like some people, like some content creators are better at managing work with YouTube, but I feel like I'm just naturally not very good at being organized and doing that. So no, no, don't go to the lion. So yeah. It's, I don't know, it's difficult. It's just difficult because I, okay, this is not be. I'm not being lazy, right? But I'm just going to be honest with you guys here. I'm like 18 people that are here now. I'm assuming that because you're here now, you are interested enough in the channel slash my life that you kind of want to be here. So yeah, I find it really hard actually working. I know this sounds really stupid. Like I'm not being lazy, but like mentally I find it really difficult. Does that, does that make any sense? So I get very easily overwhelmed by stuff. Like really easily stressed. So do a lot of people. It's not an excuse. But it means that... I Like I think that's why I get ill quite a lot. Because I just... I don't know. I feel like my body just gets very easily stressed by stuff. So yeah, I get ill a lot. I mean, I still work, and I try and work like really hard, right? Because obviously that means you get more money, so you can do more stuff. So I try. But yeah, I guess I'm trying to make the point that I know that there will be people that are much better at actually working and 
being organized enough to know the enemy is started building a wonder. Oh no, this is not good. Okay, this is not good. Oh, I didn't think they'd do that. Usually they just go for attacking you and they don't actually build one, but okay, they've chosen to build one. That could be a problem because now we have to stop them before we build ours. Oh. Where are all the fish anyway? Yeah, sorry, I know I was just in the middle of a sentence and I just completely stopped talking about what I was talking about. But yeah, I think that's... It's just my... I don't know, it's just... Is it a personality trait? I don't know whether it is. I think it's just my mental abilities. <sighs> Johnny, yeah. Personal burnout. <coughs> and I've been there, right? And that was... I was talking to Zeno on Twitter about this. I went through this phase of working so much that I literally gave myself more than, like, daily panic attacks. But, like, multiple times a day. And it was awful. It's the worst I've ever felt. And I think if you haven't had a panic attack, it's easy to think, well, you know, just get over it sort of thing. But... It was the worst I've ever felt. You feel like you're gonna die. It's really bad. So from that, I kind of learned that I need to moderate how much I work because my body physically, like, can't, like it has a limit, right? Where if I work over that limit, I end up in that situation again. So I, since then, this was a few years ago, I think it was before COVID, maybe 2019, like February 2019, I want to say. So yeah, since then, I've been ultra careful with how much work I do. So in my real job, I only work four days a week now because I don't want to risk working a full week and then ending up in that situation again. So I do four days a week, but the days that I do work, I work all day. So I do a lot of work, but I just like condense it into those four days. That means I get three days where I can just relax, ideally. So yeah. Um, Hackman says, is there a way to run, run WinNT10? You mean Windows 10 on Longhorn? What do you mean? You mean like in a virtual machine? Because you definitely can do that. Right, how are we doing with... We need stone. Where are these? Yeah, okay, we found stone. It's just that it's really far away from the storage bit. And there's only two people actually on it. Great. How are we doing for time? Oh, we've got time. That's fine. Right, what we need to do is, basically, take these ships, hope that the enemy has built the wonder in a stupid place, i.e. next to the shoreline somewhere, and basically destroy it before they can actually complete the wonder. So, let's find out where... Where are they? Okay, they're probably going to... This looks like it's where they're going to be. Let's find out... Oh, maybe not actually. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe here. It's kind of hard to tell which island is large or small. When this, okay, this is a small island. Okay. Is the wonder anywhere around here? If not, then we could have a problem because we're going to have to come back with troops. Aha, there it is. Yes, look, they've been incredibly stupid and built it right next to the shore. Okay, guys, let's go. <sighs> right, that's that sorted. How are we doing? We need stone and wood. Okay, I'm going to build some more ships, which is going to exhaust all the wood, but that's okay because... Oh, right, how are we doing with actually getting rid of this wonder? Yes! Come on! Oh. Sorry guys, you tried. 
Right, cancel. We don't need those anymore. Actually, maybe we do need these because I've kind of annoyed them now, right? So they're probably going to come back looking for a fight. So yeah, let's go for the warships. That's probably a very good plan. Okay, we don't need any more gold. So these people can go on this transport ship and they can go get wood instead. Let's uh, make it three more so we can fill this up. <sighs> okay, Jacob, have you ever played The Sims with the expansions? Yes, it's one of my favourite games. In fact, I don't know whether you hear earlier talking about um, these physical copies that I was going to use. But basically, the majority of the physical games I own are Sims games because, I mean, I have a, li the, I have a pile, right? It's, I can't lift this pile up because there's so many games in it. But I literally have all of these individual Sims games and expansions. So yeah, this is just in a random order. So Sims 2 Pets, Sims Superstar, Sims 2 Celebration stuff. I mean, I have every single one literally that was ever released. I was and still am a massive Sims fan. So the majority of my physical games are actually comprised of The Sims. And there's a lot. So yeah, I love The Sims, to answer your question. Love it. Right, get on there. Okay, go and attack that ship. Don't just go past. Priorities, right. So let's get these people over here. Now I think what I might do is build the wonder on this larger island, because it's going to be basically further away from the shoreline, right? So probably a little bit more sensible but we're probably gonna, gonna want to defend it in some way as well right shall I get some more yeah let's make some more villagers I think five more should be enough we'll get those sent over okay Johnny that was well spotted it does look like a dinosaur weird Right, where am I being attacked this time? Oh, look! By another ship. Oh, no, we really have to speed up our wood production here. The Sims 3. Uh, so, basically, The Sims 1 is probably my favourite Sims game. I also like The Sims 2 a lot. Sims 3, I have played, but not as much as the first two. And I think that's because when it came out, my computer was basically on like the lower end of the supported specs. So it ran really badly. And for anyone that hasn't played The Sims 3 or doesn't know about The Sims 3, um, it was quite a bit different to the first two because it was an open world. So literally everything was loaded at the same time basically so imagine like in terms of computer resources that was a lot different to like the sims 2 where you'd have like your like you could enter your house right and that would load then if you wanted to say send your sim out somewhere in a taxi to a place then you'd have a loading screen before you got to that place but with the sims 3 you could literally just leave your house and go anywhere it was a complete open world and yeah it was a lot more demanding on resources basically so yeah my computer did not like that very much so i didn't play it as much for that reason oh these ships do they not okay what is the point why would you send one ship why would you do that just either send loads or don't bother <sighs> anyway right let's get these over there Okay, we need more villagers. More villagers. Okay, we've almost got enough stone. We just need wood. A lot of wood. Um. Um, yeah, so actually, while we're waiting for this, let's put a poll up for the next... So you can decide the next game. Um, I'm just going to go with things that are coming to mind here. So there's Roller Coaster Tycoon. I don't know which one. I mean, I guess like the third Roller Coaster Tycoon is technically 
the XP, like definitely a Vista era roller coaster tycoon game. Um, what else? The Sims. That would probably be The Sims 2 or Sims 3. I mean, I, I can tell you right now, Sims 3 is not going to work in this virtual machine. Not very well anyway, so that's probably a no go. Maybe Sims 2, Roller Coaster Tycoon, what else? Why can I not think of any other games that I actually own? Um. Okay, I have a lot of Sims and Age of Empires games. Age of Empires 3, Zoo Tycoon 2, what else? Feel free to suggest games, by the way, because I literally cannot think of any. Orbitron, I've never played Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, Solar Strike Quake 3, I think I have played that, but I don't own it. So I think Sims 1 or 2 could be good to... I'll give you... The... Okay. Let's just do this poll. Uh, I'm not going to be specific here, but if the option was between The Sims and Roller Coaster Tycoon, which one should we go for? No specific game. But out of those two series of games, which one would be best? Right, how are we doing? Okay, stone. We need stone. Stone, stone, stone. Let's get some of these people on stone. In fact, we don't need any wood now, so let's all go all get stone. And the enemy will be probably going to try and destroy this wonder, so let's get some defences here. I think, out of these options, Roller Coaster Tycoon, I think we could probably get away with number three. Which would be an XP slash Longhorn era game. Uh, for The Sims, I'd say probably Sims 2. Because I don't trust three. I mean, three just, I, I don't know, it does not run very well. On the best, you know, at the best of times, so. I'd say Sims 2. Right, guys, we need stone. Pronto. Go get stone. Don't need any more wood. This is important. And you. Got a wonder to build here. Let's get moving. Uh, right, let's just build um, a barracks so we can potentially get some military units if they come and try and destroy the wonder. Go build that. Um Right, how are we doing? Roller Coaster Tycoon 69%. I mean really. You guys are so childish. Uh Right, let's just put another one of these here. Oh, what on earth am I doing? I'm resizing the virtual machine window. That's not helpful. Give it a rest! At least we've got surplus wood now, so let's get a few more ships just in case, because we don't need that at the moment. Right, we're just waiting on stone now. So Roller Coaster Tycoon it is. Good choice. I mean they're both they're both a good choice. Uh, right, so What day are we on? It's Friday, isn't it? Has anyone got any Saturday plans? Do I have any Saturday plans? Not really. I'm just gonna what am I gonna do tomorrow? I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna relax. Like I was talking about earlier. Relax on my day off. In fact, I'm kind of, I'm probably due at any point for an illness because I usually get one every few weeks. 
especially over winter. So I was ill about three times between maybe October and December, so basically once a month. It was ridiculous. One of those was COVID as well, which is the second time I had COVID. Uh, and to be honest, actually, like the second time, it was a lot less bad. First time, it was not too bad. It was like a cold, really, but it was like a cold with a massive headache. Kind of like the one I've got now, but it went on for like two or three weeks. So that was really, really just really annoying, basically. Um. Ooh, Solar Strike. What films? What films? I love a good comedy. Like 80s, 90s comedy. Maybe 2000s. Have you noticed I've got really old-fashioned tastes in everything? I also like 80s and 90s music. And games, clearly. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, Sven says, I remember making a video on this build for your subscriber showcase. I just built my first computer at the time and I edited the video in Windows Movie Maker. I mean, didn't we all back in the day? I cringe thinking about that video. I've probably still got it, you know. Have you still got a copy of it? Because I think I've got all the subscriber showcase videos saved. Somewhere. Right, let's build our wonder. Now we can get everyone building this because it it takes an incredibly long time because it has, uh, well, let's see, actually, it has 500 hit points. So relatively, that's actually a lot here. So let's get everyone building that. And I might just get actually one person on wood because I think we need, we're going to potentially need that if we're going to defend ourselves. So, yeah, we'll let them build the wonder. Indiana Jones, nice. Um. Oh, Johnny, I love the Mega Drive. The Mega Drive was my childhood console, or Genesis, if you're American. Sega Genesis. Yeah, oh, I love it. I actually love that. Um, in fact... I haven't actually personally played this for, I mean, this is kind of a long story, not very interesting, but if, I'm sure, I'm sure most of you will know about this, because Michael MJD did a video on it, um, and I got a copy of this, it's basically kind of like a Windows 95 emulator, I mean, not an emulator, but it's designed to look and feel like you're running Windows 95 on the Mega Drive, slash Genesis. And yeah, Michael MJD did a video on this, if you're interested. You've probably seen it if you're watching this video. But I don't actually have my childhood Mega Drive because another member of my family has it because we kind of shared it between siblings and so on. So I don't have it, is just the way it's turned out. So I have this and games. But like I said, this other family member has the games as well. So I might just start again and just get a new Mega Drive off eBay or something and get all my childhood games again. May as well. Leonard, I did a video on React OS from, I want to say, maybe 2014 or so. Right, so we're going to play Rollercoaster Tycoon. Nice. Yeah, Orbitron, that's true. It's more like an actual album, isn't it? Yeah, good music as well. Great music. Right, how are we getting on? So basically, with Wonders, you finish building your Wonder, and then you need to. it needs to basically exist for a certain amount of time in-game, and then you automatically win. So I think it might be a thousand years or something in the game. So we're just going to get a little countdown. And then we have to wait for it to finish. And then we've won. Fun times. And I think when that happens, I'm going to go get some refreshments. So we'll have a little stream break for a couple of minutes.
So I guess the next poll should be which roller coaster tycoon should we play? And I mean, there's more than this selection, but in terms of ones that would potentially work on Longhorn, one, two, or three. One and two, I'm almost certain would work without problems. Three, I'm not sure. But I'll give you the options. So we've got number one, which is definitely a 90s game. Number two, which again is definitely a 90s game. Number three, which I think is from, I think someone said 2004. Sounds about right. So let me know which one you prefer. Okay, so now we've got to wait for 2,000 years for this to stand, with hopefully without any uh, enemies destroying it. So let's get these on wood. Let's get some... Oh, we need houses. Okay, let's build a house. Okay, build some houses. Um... Leonard, I don't have any plans now, but I should do that, shouldn't I, actually? Oh, so Solar Strike says only Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 was from the 90s. So 2 was from... Was it 2000, then? That seems quite late. Oh, they're all so good, though, aren't they? They're all good. Oh, thanks, Orbitron. The React OS video is from 2017. That still seems like quite a long time ago. Oh, wow, 2002, really? For some reason, I don't know, I don't know why this text is like glitched out up here, so you can't really see it very clearly. So I think we're on like 1600 at the moment, are we? Roughly left. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Oh, again, I used to play that so much. That is such a good game. Hibby, thanks for joining. I will see you next time. Right, how are we doing? 1400 years. Okay. I actually, Dominic, I actually don't even think I said hello to you, did I? But sorry about that. Hello to Dominic. I know you've been here, I think, the whole time. I just seem to think that I didn't actually say anything to you. But I did. I have noticed that you're here. So thanks for joining. <laughs> Technical George. This is an interest. It's not an interesting story. It's just a very complicated story. I don't use windows as my daily driver anymore because i don't like modern windows i was basically i used windows 7 obviously when it came out until windows 8 came out then i upgraded and i don't remember the exact timings of everything but at some point i got fed up and went back to windows 7 and i probably went back to 8 back to 7 quite a few times then 10 came out and i was fine on 10 so stayed with 10 in 2015 for, I want to say, maybe two or three years. Maybe three years. It was, I think it was either in late 2018 or 2019, one of those updates. They basically changed the UI. So the dark mode UI went from being basically pure black to dark grey. And I hated it. So the taskbar on Windows 10 now, if you have dark mode set, go and look at the taskbar. I just don't like it. It looks dark grey not black you can make it look a bit more like pure black if you turn off transparency effects in the settings app then the taskbar looks okay I, d I still don't think it's pure black 
But then a lot of the other apps without the transparency effects then look worse. So for most people, this wouldn't be a problem, right? But because UI is such an important thing to me and it just annoys me if I don't like the UI, then that literally made me go back to Windows 7 because I just could not stand it. So whenever that change happened, when dark mode went from black to dark gray, I went back to Windows 7 and I basically stayed on 7 until maybe about 2020 and then switched to a Mac because I think I got, did I get an iPhone? I think I got an iPhone and then I kind of thought, oh, now I've got an iPhone. Wouldn't it be good to have a Mac because then I'd have like the ecosystem interoperability that I used to get with Windows 10 Mobile. That's a whole other story. So yeah, I think I didn't like want a Mac, like just, I didn't want a Mac specifically. It's just because I thought I've got an iPhone, so it makes sense to get a Mac. Now I can do all the things that I used to be able to do when Windows 10 and Windows 10 Mobile used to work together before Microsoft Kind killed Windows 10 Mobile. So yeah, now I just happen to use a Mac because it just works with my other devices. So it's just simpler. Yeah, and um, I wanted to play a game that didn't work on... I have a Windows 7 virtual machine still with all my games in Windows games. But I wanted to play a game that didn't, that didn't work on 7. So I installed Windows 11 and within less than a few minutes I'd already got annoyed and I just, I just could not use it. It just annoys me too much trying to use it. The whole center taskbar thing. I know you can change it, but that's not the point. Like, I just don't agree with that change being a default. A de that should not be a default set setting. Th it just makes no sense to have icons in the middle of the taskbar. Where the start button moves around, depending on how many map apps you've got open. It makes no sense. It just makes no sense. So... Then I thought I'm going to try installing Windows 10 RTM from 2015. That was too old for the game to work anyway. So then I had to install, I, I just installed like the most up to date version of 10, whatever that is, the 2022 update. And yeah, it looks awful. I mean, not having used 10 for a long time, going back to it and seeing it again after not seeing it for a long time, it looks awful. It's just, you're a click away from and it's like a roulette wheel. You're a, you're a click away from, it could be a Windows 7 UI element, it could be Windows 8. It's just, it's just like three versions of Windows all shoved together and none of them actually work properly because of that. It's just a nightmare. It looks absolutely awful. So I don't, if you've upgraded to Windows 11 from 10, I don't blame you because Windows 11 at least looks more consistent but I still have massive issues with what has what Microsoft have done with Windows 11. But I will give it its due. The UI consistency is better than Windows 10. I don't think anything could be worse than Windows 10's consistency. So it has pros. So, but yeah, if I if I had to use Windows, like I said, I would you I would still be using Windows 7 because that is what I still use in my VM if I need to run a Windows app. Yeah, that's my little diatribe about Windows. That's where I currently stand. I'm not happy about it. I wish I could love modern Windows, but I just don't. I just don't. I just, I don't know. I hope I can again one day. But at the moment, I just don't like the way it is. Anyway, sorry about that. But anyway, we, we are victorious. We won. So that was Age of Empires 1. Good game. Good game. So yeah, we won even though the enemy had a higher score. So they probably had more units and stuff. Yeah, well, it looks like they've done more improvements anyway. So yeah, in fact, they did better all around. But they didn't win. So that's all that matters. Um, yeah, so um, I'm just going to very quickly go and have some some more tea basically so i will see you all in a moment and we'll play roller coaster tycoon 3 so yeah i will see you in a couple of minutes
Okay, and I'm back. I'm back. So currently, I'm just waiting for Roller Coaster Tycoon, like the files to. I've just realised they weren't in an ISO file, so I'm put, putting them into an ISO file so that we can then install them in the virtual machine. So yeah, if you're still here, thanks for still being with me. It's good to know that other people find this interesting because. Uh, if it was just me, then it would kind of be pointless streaming. So I'm glad you're finding it enjoyable. Um, okay, so let's attach this ISO to the virtual machine. And then let's install this. Now, full disclosure here, this is a repacked version of Roller Coaster Tycoon, although I do own the game. Sometimes, even though you probably shouldn't do this, but sometimes it is just easier to download an ISO of a game that you already have rather than ripping your own. So yeah, I have done that sometimes. I guess my logic is if anyone wants to come for me about it, then I can just show them that I own these games. So technically, I mean, I think that's okay, right? So yeah, um, so let's go back to the vm so this repack of the game actually is the first three games all together and like i said i own the games so this is just a repack that i downloaded to save me time actually ripping them all myself so it was just more convenient I am not endorsing downloading games that you don't own. Yeah, and I also noticed since I was away, actually Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 has one out in the poll. So, I mean, since we're installing all three, I guess we could look at a couple of them. I may just be limited time-wise. So, yeah. Leonard, that is a very good point. Yes. Sometimes um, ripping your own discs is classed as piracy. So, yeah. But, I mean, I think it's just... You just... It's common... You just need to use common sense, right? If you own something on a certain format, there should be no reason why you can't own it on another format. Am I right? Or am I being too optimistic here? 
Jim is asking about the background music. Jim, I'm not sure because the music just goes to you. I can't actually hear it at my end. But someone else may be able to tell you if they recognize it, what it is. But yeah, I'm not sure because it's just in a random playlist that is just being shuffled. Welcome back, CEO. Or you're welcoming me back, I'm not sure. But CEO 100 of all, welcome back. Or thanks for welcoming me back, if that's what you're saying. Pancake, yes, it's one of those installers with music added, which drive me insane, and I've already turned it off to save you having to listen to it. So it looks like we're playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 first, because that is now the winning option in the poll. Uh, assuming that works, which it should it should do, to be fair. It's quite an old game, isn't it? So I don't think 4074 should have issues with that, but let's find out. But let's see. Anyway, sorry, I keep bumping the I keep uh, bumping the microphone because I don't have any room on my desk. But anyway, I've got more tea, so could be worse, right? Got refreshments. My headache is okay. It's still present, but it's not as bad as it was before. Marginally better. So it could be worse. Um, yeah. So yeah, thank you for the 17 people that are still here. It's much appreciated. I have definitely missed doing live streams. Um, uh, why, what, why is it trying to down, why is it the, why is it the web version of the installer? What? Oh. You'd think it would be an offline version, right? Oh no, does that mean that we're going to need to find an offline version of DirectX? Oh my gosh. Potentially. Anyway, let's just change the theme and stuff while we're waiting, shall we? So, let's go to Jade. Why not? And let's have a look. Let's, what goes well with Jade? Ooh, this could go well with Jade. Ooh, yeah. That's not bad. Not bad. That's bad, though. So, we could have a few issues here. Oh, no. Oh, well, we're going to find out. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's fine. Right, finish. Okay. Let's uh, let's see if it works. I have no... In fact, so let's go to the actual folder because it doesn't actually create shortcuts to everything. Oh, this is annoying. Um, right, where is it? Rolex Tycoon. So we have all three games here. So let's go for the first one. It may work without compatibility mode, but I'm going to put it in compatibility mode anyway, in case it works and then crashes or something. So let's just do this from the outset. I mean, this will not need the uh, whatever it was trying to install earlier. Um, okay. Right. Technical George, what do I think of Mac OS versus Windows? They both have pros and cons. They do. It was actually very difficult for me to get used to using Mac OS when I switched to it a couple of years ago because I'd never used it before. So, yeah, it was a bit of a learning curve. And some things Mac does better, some things Windows does better. There's definitely pros and cons. Obviously, Windows has the advantage of being more popular in the first place. So you can, you know, you can get, for example, more software for Windows and that sort of thing. Um, right. Ooh, which one do we want to play? I'm not sure. I might let you choose. Let's end this poll. Okay, guys, which park? Which park? Which park? Which park? You can see them on the screen. I'm going to do a quick poll. I'm not going to write them out. I'll just put the numbers. So number one is Forest Frontiers. 
And then as you go down the list, that's the next number. So I'll give you these options here. I think we can only do four, actually. So it'll have to be one of the first four. So you're voting for Forest Frontiers, number one. Dynamite Dunes, number two. Leafy Lake, number three. Or Diamond Heights, number four. The, even the names are nostalgic. They really are nostalgic. I need to turn this volume down a bit because it's driving me insane. Sorry, I, I probably picked a really bad day to do a stream because my headache is really not helping here. Gonna need to have that a bit quieter. Right, what do we think? Um, ooh, this is gonna be a close one. Ooh, one and three are tied. Oh, what's it gonna be? Leafy Lake, maybe Leafy Lake. Not a lot of Diamond Heights fans. Oh, one and three are tied again. Oh no. Okay, who hasn't voted? We've got 22 people watching and only 13 votes. So if you've got me on in the background, please come back and vote because we need your input here because we've got a tie. So which park for Roller Coaster Tycoon? Forest Frontiers or Leafy Lake? They are tied. If not, I'm going to have to cast a deciding vote here and I don't know how I'm going to do that because I don't remember which ones, what, what they're like individually. Okay, they're still tied. We may have to go for a tiebreaker, potentially. Oh, okay. Leafy Lake has pulled ahead. I'm gonna take that as Leafy Lake winning. Okay, thanks for whoever cast the deciding vote. Let's go for Leafy Lake. Okay, so we're gonna build a park. We need to have at least 500 guests in the park at the end of year three with a rating of at least 600. Okay, doable. So in fact, let's just go to options a minute and just check. So I wanna make sure I've got pounds metric celsius yeah and then let's change this to 10 2 4 by 7 6 8 oh please don't crash don't crash oh my gosh has it actually crashed really oh Okay, I think it may have crashed. I'm not sure if it's the virtual machine that crashed or if it's actually VMware because I've got a beach ball here, which is definitely not good. Oh no. Let's try quitting VMware. Okay, I think VMware crashed. I don't think it was necessarily 4074. So that's okay. Let's just reset this. Okay, so... Sorry, you'll just see nothing for a minute. I'm just gonna reopen this virtual machine. again okay let's try again okay it's definitely working this time okay open virtual machine that was definitely vmware right is it actually what is it doing oh no okay there is a vmware issue nobody panic it was being a bit temperamental earlier so let's it's probably just being temperamental again let's just try opening it again mlx says long haul bugs are so powerful that they bug your pc yeah oh dear right for some reason i can open another virtual machine but not longhorn Oh no. Are 
yeah, so Windows 3.1, that opens, but we don't want 3.1. Like that. Let's just check in Activity Monitor a minute. Are there any VMware processes that are just hanging in the background that are causing this to... Yes, there are. Okay, there's a hung process here that has not closed. That's why it can't open Longhorn. Okay, force quit. Right, now we should be able to open it. Let's see, Longhorn. Yes, okay, now you should hopefully see the window. Instead of a purple screen. I think Hibby mentioned this earlier. Yeah, the subscriber counts disappeared from the from the video, hasn't it? I don't know why. It should be in the top right corner. Very odd. Yeah, so apparently apparently Longhorn crashed the actual VM. Very weird. Anyway, we're back. Um, right, so let's try again. So, local disk. Okay, and then we want to go to Rodocus Typhoon. RCT. Now, should I try changing the resolution again? Maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just change the other options. So, pounds, metric, let's keep it on 640 by 480. Show real names, why not? Okay. And poll. Thank you, Solar Strike, who says, don't forget the sidebar. I've actually forgotten to do that. So let's see. Can I just... Oh, yeah, it's already off. That's fine. Right. So, okay. So here we are in our park. Do you know what? I actually kind of have forgotten what button means what here. So this is obviously building rides. Uh, so that's rides. Scenery. What's this? Water. Paths. What about shops? Where are shops here? Oh, yeah, they're here. Oh, yeah, obviously. Right, so what I want to do is this little entrance bit here. We want to have like a little, kind of like a little shopping slash toilet slash relaxing area when you first enter the park where you might want to, I don't know, meet up with your friends or something. So let's do that here. So we'll have a little area. Let me just turn this volume up because it's a bit quiet. Okay, so a little area here. So then let's definitely have toilets. That is very important. And a few little shops because, you know, you might have come in on the bus or something and you might just want to have a little drink when you get here. Or ice cream, equally. So let's do this. And now we just want to have some little places to sit down. There we go. Little bin. Little light. Where can I put this? Uh, nowhere. Let's just put it there. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, I don't like those. Let's change that. I want these ones. Yeah. Okay, let's put some here as well. Mm. Okay, perfect. You know what? That's quite nice. Ah, right. Windows XP. Yes, I am British. Oh, you know what? This tea that I have... I forgot to put a sweetener in it, and it's really bitter, but never mind. Uh, okay, Rollercoaster Tycoon doesn't have annoying music, so let's just turn the volume up a bit. Okay, let's go back here. 
Um, yeah. So, I'm probably going to be streaming for probably maybe another hour. So, maybe till about half midnight my time. So, about an hour. So, we'll make a little, hopefully a decent little park in that time. So, yeah, with Rollercoaster Tycoon, what I used to like doing is have, like, themed sections, right, of the park. So, this would be, like, the little entrance area, which doesn't have a theme. It's just, you know, general amenities and so on. But then over here would have, like, a little themed area. Maybe, like, I don't know, some kind of... Ooh, there's a duck! Oh, there's a duck land in the water. Oh, I'll have to watch this. Oh, it's so exciting. I love it. Where is it going to land? Oh my god, I forgot about these. Now I've got really distracted by the ducks. Oh my gosh. Can you click on them? Yeah. But it doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah. So we have like, you know, like a kids area. Scary area. I mean, obviously with better names. Not just like scary area. But you know what I mean. Like themed areas. That's what I mean. So let's, uh, let's have one here. So... Let's, oh, what am I doing? How, didn't mean to do that. How do you get rid of trees? Do you need to go to the tree tool? Oh yeah, you do. Okay, so yeah, let's just get rid of these because I want to put some rides here. And then I'll put some trees back as appropriate in a moment. So let's have a look. We have some gentle rides, roller coasters, so I think, yeah, if we go for like a little like a little kids area, we'll have these gentle rides. So let's uh, go for this. Um, let me know if you have any genius ideas for what to name a kids area. Because I don't know what we're actually going to call this. Why has the sound died in the VM? Or was it just me? The sound has died for some reason. Is that a problem that I caused? I don't think so. It's just died. Oh, okay. Why? Why has it died? Oh, don't crash. No. Oh, no, I pressed an option again. Oh, no. What is it with this game? And Longhorn. Oh. It was going so well as well. Oh, no. Okay, well, since this has crashed again, maybe let's have a look at another roller coaster tycoon next time. Oh, I'm going to have to... Okay. Just, sorry, just give me a second. Let's just close out of these fusion processes again because clearly it does not like you changing any options in Rollercoaster Tycoon. But let's just let's reload it again. I think gaming on 4074, that title was probably a bit ambitious. What I should have said was playing a game on 4074, which was Age of Empires so far. Oh gosh. Never mind. <sighs> Windows XP, the Mac equivalent of the task manager, is called Activity Monitor. Which you may be able to see. Will you, can you see if I do this? I don't know. No, I don't think it's showing up there. It's actually very similar to Task Manager. Oh yeah, you can see it. Sorry, my preview for the stream is very delayed. Yeah, if you look, it's very similar. It is very similar. Okay, so. Sound is back. That's a good sign. I'm going to try this one more time. And we need to make sure that we don't change any settings apart from for the actual game. So no resolution settings, don't touch anything else. Oh, it's actually remembered those settings apart from that one. Okay, right, let's just do this again. 
We'll pretend like nothing happened. Let's just do this quickly. So, Okay, perfect. Then we want to have... My little amenities area. Okay, nice. See, look, it's like nothing happened. So Longhorn may think it can get the better of us, but it actually, it actually didn't. Right, let's just put some benches back and a bin, and then my groovy lights that I love. Nice. Right, that's where we were. Then I was just removing trees, and then it decided to, for some reason, have a problem with that. So let's get rid of these trees. There we go, look, you'd never have guessed that anything went wrong. Um, okay, what colour? I feel like we need to go, we need to kind of blend in with the forest theme here. So I'm going to say, let's go for brown and green. Forest green? Hmm? Or maybe the other way around. Let's see. Oh, that's awful. No, the other way around. So, yeah, brown and green. Nice, that still looks bad. Why does that look so bad? Oh, never mind. That'll do. It's a work in progress. Now the audio is broken again. Oh, whatever. Okay, that's fine. We're just not going to have any audio. Longhorn moment. That's okay. But you know what I'm not going to do this time? I'm not going to try and fix it by going to the menu. So, yeah. Um... Maybe it'll come back in a minute, who knows. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I feel like this has to be a forest theme as well. So how about something like green for the centre, and then we can have like red as in representing, I don't know, like apples in an apple tree. Oh, see, I love it. There go. Okay, then our... Car ride. Right. In fact, before I do this, let's check the research here. So, uh, yeah, we want to ride improvements. No theming. No. I want to just get this on rides for a minute. Maybe yeah, rides and shops. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Let's add a car ride. Build a custom design. This is going to look amazing. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, okay. You can't go any higher than that. Oh, that's fine. Oh, why did I build it so close to... the ride. Right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have one, two, three large thing then a smaller one Then a tiny one. We need to go back a bit. So and I think you'll agree, this is an amazing design for a ride. Am I right? I mean, look at that. Now the problem is how people are going to get to the actual stations. So I'm going to have to like flatten some land over here, aren't I? Because we're going to need to be able to get in this way. Because I built it really close to everything else for some reason. So let's do that. That works. Definitely no issues with this at all. 
entrance. Fine. Oh, will this actually fit here? No. Oh. No, it won't. I'm going to have to change the track layout slightly. So we'll have exit over here. That works. Yeah, exit. That's fine. Entrance. I'm going to have to move some track here. Oh, man. Right. Uh, let's just change this slightly. I mean, what was I thinking? Right, we're going to have to do that. And then... Oh, that'll have to do, I'm afraid. Wait, what earth's going on? Why can I why am I finding this so difficult to match these up? Oh well you know what? That's the best I've got at the moment. Right, entrance. Now we can put this over here. Oh, this is still not gonna work, is it? Okay, that doesn't work. You know what? Let's start again. Right, now let's actually build it with a bit more room around it so I can actually, you know, put entrances and everything actually in it. <sighs> right, so let's try again. Okay, all good so far. Right, what should we do now? Let's... Go around here. This is the worst track design I've ever seen for anything. Oh, never mind. That's fine. Right, can I put an entrance there? Yes. No. Why? There's clearly enough room for an entrance right there. Oh, don't do this to me. Just... Oh, why? Okay, why? Right, I'm just going to move this track then. That's fine. I will relocate this area of track. We'll just move it a little bit this way. So we'll go one more over here. Okay, and then we'll put the track here. I feel like if I didn't have a headache, this would have been easier. Now, if I, if I put this here, would it let me put a path next to it? Oh, please. Please, Lord. Oh. Okay, what about, can I put a path here? Oh, please, let me, just let me put this path here. Oh, thank God. Right. Panic over, I think. Here. Then this way. That's fine. Everything's going to be fine. There. Wow. That was the most stressful thing I've done all day. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um... Oh, did I miss Solar Strike leaving? Oh, I think I did. Never mind. Right. Now we need to sort out this exit here. It's a nightmare. This is a nightmare. I don't know how I'm going to fix this. I'm going to have to have this going like over here. Uh, I mean, 
I guess this works. Through the tree. So I want to go down. Not down too much. It's awful. Basically, this whole track is going to have to be pretty much flat because there's literally no room to actually make it any other way. Never mind. That's fine. Okay, so this way. Down. No, down. And then let's just change that. Oh wow, that was actually really annoying. Okay, sorted. Right, let's change the colours. Right, let's see. So let's go for, let's say like a logging camp theme. So, what's this? Is this the supports? Yeah. So I feel like that's going to all be metal. And then these are going to be brown because they're going to be the logs. Right, like I've clearly thought about this so much. Definitely that shade of brown. Yeah, there you go. Look, logging camp. Oh, I love it. Love it. In fact, that's what I'm going to call it. We're going to go all out on the forest theme here. Logging camp. Right, what else? So this can be apple tree. Oh, see? The apple tree. I know this makes no sense, by the way, but I'm just going with it. Okay, what can this be called? Um, <laughs> this can be... 16-bit um, jade. Oh, no, it's awful, isn't it? What... <sighs> Something. What do trees do that involves them spinning round? Trees in, a, in trees in a tempest. Tree top tempest. It's not tree top though, is it? Oh well, I'm going with that. Tree. That no. That sounds really too dramatic for a carousel, doesn't it? I feel like this could be tree top tempest. No, that makes no sense. Oh well, that's what I'm going for. Has anyone got any better ideas? Tree. Uh, Dominic, I did not see a ping. Check DMs for a better VM. What's wrong with my VM? Apart from the fact that it's not working very well. Uh, check the... What, on Discord? Discord. Sorry, I have a lot of notifications that I'm trying to get rid of so I can actually look at what's happening oh I didn't get any notification about anything in a DM I will have to check that in a moment right how are we doing so this is our little gentle rides area do we have any new rides that have materialized let's actually open the park that would help leafy lake and it's gonna be a pound no it's gonna be two pounds to enter we need to make our money somehow. I guess we could build this here, couldn't we? Oh, we've got a pizza stall. Oh, exciting. Right. Kids love pizza, right? This is going in the kids area. So let's see. I'm going to pop, in fact, let's put a little... I love these little, um, little uh, plaza areas. So let's pop this here. Now, we need a forest-themed pizza name. Forest pizza, I mean... Pfft. I mentioned I've got a massive headache. I'm just going with this because that's fine. Okay, um, now let's... Again, we need our little seating area here so people can sit down and enjoy their pizza. Some bins because we want to be clean and not little outs. Got some lights here. Oh, look at this so good you know what I like that cute it's cute right let's save this save as leafy lake 
Wow, it didn't crash. You know what? Now that I've saved it, let, now we, I feel like we can actually, like, we can risk this. Let's try just going to 800 by 600. No. It just, it just does not like that. Bizarre. That's just bizarre. And what's even more bizarre is it crashes the whole VMware app. It's not just the actual VM that crashes. It's just weird. Very weird. Oh well, it was worth a try, right? Thank you, MLX, for joining. I will hopefully see you next time. That reminds me, actually, we need to do a poll on what to do in the next stream, don't we? Definitely. And CEO100, thank you for joining. And I will hopefully see you next time. And Leonard, see you next time. Thanks for joining. I'm actually going to probably go offline in about half an hour. Yeah, Samuel, it's weird, right? Because the actual OS is set to 102.4.768. So I know it can... Like, the OS is fine with that. But for some reason, the game isn't. It makes very little sense. Very little. Well, at least we'll get sound back now, right? Momentarily. It's just so weird, is it? Do you know what? Maybe. Let's try changing the compatibility settings, just in case it's something to do with that. Let's go for Windows 98. I mean, this shouldn't make any difference, but I mean, let's try it. Uh, okay, let's load the game. Right. It's so much better with sound, isn't it? Right, so let's see what's going on. Have we got any new things? Oh, a maze! Oh, this is perfect for a kid's area. Okay. Oh, maze. We're going to need a bit of land clearing here. So let's pop this. In fact, you know what? I feel like the maze should go somewhere over here, like the entrance area. Just like a chill, kind of casual thing for all the family to enjoy before they actually get into the nitty gritty of the park. A little maze near the entrance. I feel like we should do this. So this is going to be really bad. Oh, no way. Yeah, this is going to be awful. Okay, okay. I don't think I should make it myself. I can see that not turning out very well. Let's go for a pre-built maze. Oops. Um, okay, that one is probably too big. What about mini maze? Oh, look, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, this is what this is what we have to do. Will it fit here? No. Okay, so we have to put it there. But now they can't leave. So why did it just let me put this down if the entrance is at the side of the park? Not the entrance, the exit. Oh, this game. This game! I just didn't think it would be that complicated to put a maze down. Right, so it has to go here. Let's just remove that path. Right, this is fine. Let's just call this... Leafy Lake Maze. Leafy Lake Make. That works. The, the Leafy Lake Maze. The Leafy Lake Mystery Maze. We've got to make it sound really exciting, right? That's fine. So now we just need to actually be able to get this path to go around here. So, so we just want it to go this way instead. 
over this area of water. That's fine. In fact, that adds to the aesthetics. That's a very nice look at that. Oh, you know what we need here? Some lights. Beautiful. And now we have room for a queue. Let's do that. Oh, look, perfect. Wait, the what? Oh, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Oh no! Why? How did I do that? You know what? I'm blaming everything on this headache. Is there a way you can move the whole thing? I don't think so. Okay, let's build the maze again. I mean, what am I playing at? It's been all day today. I just cannot function. I swear this is where I put it a second ago. Okay, the Leafy Lake Mystery Maze. I have got an issue here. Okay, that's fine. Right. Exit path. Now we can actually build one. I love it. Love it. And the sound died again, of course. Gareth, I have no weekend plans. How about you? Well, actually, I work on Sundays, so. But I don't have any Saturday plans. Yes, Johnny, this is a very chill stream. Definitely. Mind you, most of the streams are chill, aren't they? Right, we don't have anything else researched, so... Roller coasters, I'm definitely, I mean, look, we've got plenty of room here, actually, but I am going to be so bad at making one of those. Right, what was the actual thing we were aiming for? And how do we find out? I can't remember. What the, where is that? Like, the objectives. Oh, here. Uh, so, at least 500 guests in your park at the end of October year three, with a park rating of at least 600. Okay. That's quite a long time. What's our rating now? I don't know how to find out. Is it in there? Ratings. Ratings. 601! Hey! Oh dear. <laughs> Playing with refs and OS pool. OS pool. What is OS pool? Should I know what that is? I don't know what that is. Anyway, what we got here? Maybe we should build a roller coaster as a last thing. A little kids roller coaster, maybe. And by build, I mean let's actually use a predefined track layout because I just it's just not going to go well at all. Oh, what am I doing? Going back to play some of these 90s games really reminds you how temperamental they are because this is really difficult to control. Okay, let's pop this here. Okay, do we actually have room for this here? Yeah. No. Oh, we don't have enough money. Okay, we have to wait, but at least I've cleared the land. So, done that. Let's fix the path I accidentally broke. This is really nice, actually, isn't it? You could have a, like, a... We need... A, I feel like we need, like, pedal boats on this lake. The entrance fee is very cheap. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Let's make it £12. I have received an award for being the most disappointing park in the country. Wow, thank you so much. I am honoured <laughs> by that award. Oh no, Treetop Tempest has broken down. It's because it's such a high-octane ride, right? 
Um, nine rotations. Is that a lot or not? I feel like we need to make this a bit higher. We need to save some cash here. Inspect every 45 minutes. Yeah, we'll have that on four, number of rotations two. Yeah, okay. Wait for full load. Well, it doesn't have to be full, does it? But okay, that's fine. Right, what about logging camp? Wait for three quarter load. Inspect every forty five minutes. Okay, does the what was the price for this one? One fifty. Does the maze require an inspection? <laughs> Yes, okay. Well, that could be 45 minutes. Max number for your four. I think five. Samuel, there will be no next game, only because I have to leave shortly. Hang on, why... Is someone going to come and check this? Why is it still closed? Where is the inspector? Do we have any... Hang on, do we have staff here? Oh, we don't have any staff. That's why no one's coming to inspect the ride. Oh, see, look, it all makes sense. Right. Um, security guard. Uniform colour. This needs to be... I feel like they need to be brown. Like trees. Mechanics. Brown. Handyman brown no they can be green green yeah green in fact they could be green as well that's fine in fact they can all be green entertainers a panda that well-known forest animal maybe we should change it to i mean none of these are none of these are appropriate for a forest i guess a tiger is probably the closest that we've got here like a wild cat sort of thing i think that works just about that stretch. Uh. Yeah, Johnny, I'm going to leave about in about 20 minutes because mainly because of my headache and uh, I've got some other stuff to do before I go to bed as well. So that is my plan. It's a bit annoying about the audio not working. Ooh, now we've got an information booth. Nice. Right, this needs to go in our little area here. That's very important to have. Information kiosk. Ice cream. This needs to be ice cream parlour. Ice cream parlour. What on earth? Okay. What else? Why is it called a bathroom when it doesn't have a bath in it? Drink store. I mean, okay. Fizzy drinks. There. Thanks, Dominic. It's fine. I'll just... I'll wait till half twelve. That's okay. I think I can cope. The research is very slow, isn't it? What's going on here? Haunted house. Ooh, that means I can start a new section. Spooky section. Why does it take so long to... get stuff? Expected 26th of June. Okay, that's any time now. Any time now, any time. Let's put this price up. I'm gonna get Haunted House, guys, so I'm sorry, you're gonna have to pay some more to get in. In anticipation of the new area of the park opening. I feel like it needs to be over here. Yeah. In these trees. Where were they? Was that the bit I was just looking at? Why does it look like there are fewer trees in this, in this angle? Oh, never mind. Well, I think here. Definitely. Right. Oh, 
Come on, haunted house. <laughs> well, considering we were apparently the most disappointing park in the country, we've actually got a pretty good rating. So, it's not all bad news. Some things here. Right, do we have the haunted house yet? No. Why does it take so long? <laughs> Finally, we have the haunted house. Where is that here? Oh, why am I not in there? Uh, right, so... Let's... It's over here. And then spoil the Atmos with a massive entrance and exit booth right at the front. In fact, why don't I put them around here? And then, yeah, let's put one there. One there. Not bad. And we're going to call this Leafy Lake House. Uh, ooh. Ooh, I forgot about this. Oh my gosh. I forgot you could change those. I love it. Right, this is uh, £1.50. Right, let's join this up. Okay, enjoy guys. Welcome to the Leafy Lake House. Let's see. Has anyone got any ideas actually for what we could do for a next stream? Any ideas for a topic? Kind of run out of ideas. What would be interesting? I guess we could look at we could look at a newer Windows 11 build maybe. Not done that for a while. That could be an option. Oh yeah, Dominic, we could finish the back again. I forgot what we actually had left to finish with that. That could be an option. What else? I just, I don't know, I just, I, I, oh, I just can't, I just don't have any ideas. I have no ideas. Jacob, Sims 1 on Windows 11. Hmm. I mean, I love The Sims. Um, more Windows destruction. An unstable build for seven and later that decreases timers even further than they have been and brings a new interface. Oh, okay. Yeah, Gareth, I, yeah, doing a Windows 11 build video would be good, wouldn't it? Because we've not done one of those for a while. That's definitely a good plan.
Dominic, that is a very good idea. Adding custom mode. I love that. I'm all up for customizability. Oh yeah, Phantom Ocean. That's a good idea. Yes. Looking at the hidden stuff in Windows 11. That is a very good idea. Mm -hmm. I might need some help with knowing what to look for. I kind of like that idea. That sounds good to me. I'll do a poll anyway. In fact, let's write down these options because I'll forget about them. So let's see, we've got... Backageddon part two slash more destruction. Um, there's hidden features in 11. Latest dev build. What else? Did we say anything else? Um, Phantom, yes, that would be very much appreciated. Thank you, that would help a lot. Because I'm not up, to, I'm not very up to date on like the technical stuff that's going on. If that makes any sense, like I, I'm not very up to date on what's hidden or not. Unless I see it on Twitter. Um, what else was there? Latest insider build. That was it, I think, wasn't it? That's a good few options anyway. If I think of anything else, then I'll add that as well. But we've got some options. Samuel, thank you for joining. I'll hopefully see you next time. Oh, yeah, Dominic. I'll check my DMs. Oh, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. I will do that. Right, let's save this because we're pretty much out of time. So yeah, maybe I should actually retitle that stream. That's playing two games on Longhorn 4074. Oh my god, and it's crashed again, quitting the game. Oh, what is it playing at? Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We don't need that anymore, do we? Anyway, I hope that was at least a little bit entertaining, but yeah, I've just I've just had this headache, you know. Hello to Solver. We're just about to end the stream, I'm afraid. Yeah, you know, when you've just got like a headache and for no reason. And then you just I don't know, it just it's hard to do stuff, isn't it? I think definitely roll on summer. That's gonna help. Summer's always good, right? You get more sunlight and all that. Good for your immune system. Mood boosting. Hopefully good for headaches. So yeah. Thank you all so much for joining, and thank you especially if you've been here for the whole stream like I have. Hope you've enjoyed it, and yeah, stay tuned for the poll. I'll put up a poll with some options in for the next stream, which will be next month at some point. And yeah, if you've just joined and you've missed the stream, then it will go up on the channel so that you can re-watch it if you want to catch up on what you've missed. Basically, the first hour just skip that pretty much because we had a few technical problems so it'll start about an hour in about 50 minutes in and yeah uh, i will leave you to have a look at that if you want to and i'm just trying to find what button i need what am i even trying to do end the stream i mean look my brain it just cannot cope i think that's this button here <laughs> so yeah have a good evening slash afternoon depending on where you are and thank you so much for joining and i will see you all in the next one i will see you then